The new ChatGPT allows you to upload images and it uses AI to tell you what is in them. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what it's doing and how good it is. And we're gonna be going through some real time examples. So inside ChatGPT, if you have ChatGPT 4, then you can actually use it to uh, upload different images. All you do is you click this attach images button and then it'll actually sh allow you to upload that image. I just uploaded an image of an infographic that I just got on Google search, just typed in infographic, and uh, it actually summarized it pretty well. Uh, it was able to do this in a pretty cool way, uh, and I think there was a lot that uh, was drawn from this positively. Like I could actually see myself using this and putting this infographic up places and um, just making even social posts out of this, which I think is really cool. The second thing that I did was I gave it this image that I just painted on the computer and I asked it to tell me what's inside of it. So I said two plus two equals and it wasn't able to do that. And I don't think that's necessarily its fault because it's a pretty vague image to be honest. And I asked like what symbols are in it and it didn't really know, which again, I think I'll give it some slack for just because it is a little confusing. But then I did ask what is the math equation in this image and it wasn't able to tell. So. What I'm going to do now is actually upload another image, but it clarifies this a little bit and see if that actually helps. So let me upload this and see if that does any better. So I changed it a little bit and it's still hand drawn. It had two plus two equals question mark. And I'm curious to see if it knows how to solve this. Um, just very simple. Okay, not bad. I mean, it didn't get the actual, uh, number it said two plus three equals um but and, and it actually goes and solves it which i think is really cool um and i think can ultimately be a really cool source of inspiration like for example let's say that you're just drawing let's say you're a visual learner and, and you and you convey ideas visually you could write down a bunch of ideas for a startup for a company and they can upload it through that image and it will actually tell you and, and take all your notes and transcribe them into something that could be a written format, which I think is honestly really cool and will open up a lot of doors for a lot of people who are more uh, visual thinkers. Um, I personally like to write and talk more than I like to draw, as you could probably tell from my, my image, but it is pretty cool to think about what it can do and how cool this technology is gonna be as it continues to progress. Now I wanted to get into something I think could actually be an even better use for this technology, which is taking an image that's an infographic, uh, citing the source, but actually turning that infographic into social media posts. So I found this infographic here, which is from Yahoo Finance, which essentially says this is what the AI market is projected to be uh, over the next five years. So I'm gonna save this image uh, and then we're gonna upload it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna ask it to create social media posts from this, which I think is gonna be pretty awesome uh, to think about if I, if I said, what's in this infographic? And make a social post for LinkedIn on it. Okay, it says something has gone wrong, so that's interesting. I don't know why that's happening. Let me try one more time. Hmm, weird. So it looks like there's still issues that ChatGPT and the image generation has. Uh, I'm gonna try refreshing my screen and see if that changes anything. Okay, so what I did is I just uploaded the image first without asking any kind of follow-on prompt. So let's see if this actually allows it to be created uh, better. And I, I see that it is currently going through everything correctly and it's illustrating the different points in the image correctly. And so what I'm gonna do after it's done writing this is I'm actually going to ask it to create social posts. So what's cool is that it did do it correctly and it analyzed the biggest points from this, but again, I'm gonna ask it to create a social post from this information for LinkedIn. All right, so it is creating this, and so I do have it sharing uh, a social post, and we'll see if it actually is a good social post, because a lot of times the social posts that it creates aren't that good. All right, Global Artificial Intelligence Market Outlook 2023-2027. 
Ah, it's not that bad, honestly. Like, I actually would read this, and I think all I have to do is just cite it just to make sure that it's actually good. But I think this is pretty interesting, and I think people would read this. Now, where it gets even crazier is you could ask it to do things like come up with a business plan based on this market growth for an AI company that I want to launch. So I went ahead and I asked it that, and I'm really curious to see what it comes up with because you can kind of imagine all the applications this could have. You know, you could take five, six different images that you just see and you're like, okay, I want to combine uh, something with this kind of a vibe. Let's say the image has, uh, let's say you're designing a new product and you see a really cool image and you say, okay, it's an image of the ocean. I want the product to feel like it's the ocean. Can you take inspiration from this image, describe all the different details in it, and then incorporate it into a company idea that I can build that actually utilizes information from this image. It can take all the different details and things that it notices in the image, the vibe, the color schemes, all things like this, and it could actually create uh, a new business idea based on those elements, which is honestly really cool and I know I'm going to be using it for things like that, things that are visual, things that I see. And, and you could imagine this extending into videos and music and all sorts of things, different kind of multi-sensory inputs that you can put into ChatGPT to allow for this to happen. So while this isn't a fully perfect solution, I think it's really neat where it's going, you know, what's happening in the space. And uh, Ultimately, you know, for me, I see this as a, a huge growth vehicle for a lot of innovative businesses. You know, if you have a company that is looking to grow and scale and it's a really innovative business and you want to leverage some of these cool new technologies, then I think testing something like this out will be a really great way for you to, you know, start kind of being on the cutting edge of some of this stuff. Uh, feel free to leave some comments below with some ideas of how you're utilizing the new images technology with ChatGPT. Remember, you do need the ChatGPT Plus subscription, which costs about $20 per month as of right now. Uh, if you want to use this feature, definitely recommend it. I'm not affiliated with ChatGPT in any way, but it's a really cool product and hundreds of million people are using it right now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Feel free to like, subscribe, share this video with someone you think would enjoy it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.